In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create tarballs and then extract their contents with the tar command. The tar command can combine and compress files into one archive file. Tarballs are a great way to organize and compress files for storage and sharing. Let's start with an example. tar-czvf archive.tar.gz directory file1 file2. The dash czvf requests for an archive to be created, to use gzip to compress it, to verbosely list the files being operated on, and for the set files or directories to be used. The first argument specifies the file name of the archive to be created, and all the following arguments are the files and directories that are to be included in the archive. To extract the contents of a tarball, simply replace the c in dash czvf with an x to indicate that you want to extract the contents of an archive instead of creating one, and only list the file name of the archive as the argument. Here's a quick demonstration. So I'm going to create a tarball, and I want these to be in it. So this directory, it's also got a couple of files in it. Now I want to run the tar command, and I'm going to give it the options cz vf. Now I got to specify the name of the tarball, so I'm going to call it archive.tar.gz. And now I want to list the contents, so I want the directory to be in it, and I want file 1 to be in it. Run that, because I gave it the verbose option, it's going to list out all of the things that are put into the archive. Now if I do this, we can see it created an archive.tar.gz. So I can also, if I want, I can go ahead and check what is inside this archive. And here we can see we've got the directory, got a couple files in that directory, and we've got a file that's not in the directory. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this directory and this file here, so I can show you how to extract the contents of this tarball. So, we've only got the archive in there right now, so we're going to type in the tar command again, and this time we're going to do xzvf, and we're going to specify that we want it to use the archive here. So we're going to run that, it's going to tell us, it's going to give us some output because we gave the verbose option. So if we ls here, you can see we've got this directory and this file that we extracted from the archive. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.